Which vodka is better, Polish or Russian? Zna? Zdrowie. Zdrowie! Here we go. I'm gonna make you a blind test. Nah, it's a horrible aftertaste there. The big reveal. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Drunk Time with Urban and today with Mo. Mo, of wow, course. How's it going, guys? Yes, so actually it's the second episode, but technically it's the third episode because we already tried Polish vodka. Na zdrowie again. Na zdrowie. We already tried also Polish beer. Na zdrowie. Na zdrowie. All right, so let's try first one. Unfortunately, without you. I had to leave, yeah. Gutted, I missed out. I like a couple of uh, Polish beers, especially when I was younger. They get them cheap at the local news agents. But today we try to answer four very important questions. Like many people, a million people in the world, they have a one question. Which vodka is better, Polish or Russian? Well, I think I know the answer to that already, but I guess we're going to find out. Well, okay, so we have a player number one, Polish vodka Wyborowa from Poznań. Wywarowa from uh, Poznan. Poznan, yeah. And then we have another vodka. Vodka number two. This is a Russian standard, Ruski standard. From St. Petersburg. And this is the one you see everywhere, you know, in any yes. club. I don't know why it's so rated, it's everywhere. You know, I'll be honest, mostly my uh, interactions with vodka, I don't really have good memories of it. <laughs> As you probably know. Oh yes, that's but, um, <laughs> we know that. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see the difference, if there is one. This vodka here costs around 20 pounds. This one, I paid actually 10 pounds, which is weird. In Poland, same vodka, actually opposite. Wow, that's interesting. I know that's normally about a 20 pound bowl, Russian standard, isn't it? No, we're standing up right now. So, but it's funny thing. This one in Russia is like a normal vodka. Everywhere abroad is a premium vodka. Yeah. Same with this one. Have you ever tried the Borova vodka? I've never tried the Borova vodka. Which one actually we should try first? Oh, well, I've tried that one before, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to go with the, the Borova. Okay. Am I uh, saying it right? Viborova. Viborova. You know what's mean Viborova actually? What's it mean? It's choice vodka. The chosen one. Let's start with this. You know what's the tradition in Poland when we start drinking vodka? You have to actually hit the bottle here, at the bottom. Time to pour it. Oh man, I love it. It's like a jelly. It's a jelly. It's not water, it's jelly. My, my stomach is turning already. <laughs> That's the first shot. First one is the Polish vodka. Cheers. Cheers na Zdrowie. Zdrowie. Here we go. Actually, you know, when you drink first one, you never, you never drink after. That's not too bad, actually. It's good. And it's really cold. It's cold. It should be, you know. The best temperature for vodka it should be between a six and eight degrees. This one, I would say, is even lower. Fantastic. So, you know, well, they we say you should always have a bottle of vodka in the freezer. So, it's a saying that yeah. the Westerns, I don't know if you adopt that in uh, Poland, but always have a really ice cold bottle. Of course, man. That's the, that's the tradition. No. And that's where we learned it then, I guess, you of know, course. from you guys. <laughs> no, hot or warm, whatever you call vodka, is undrinkable. It's just, you know, it's just this. Fantastic. Ask my 14 year old self that, he wouldn't agree with you. That's all he used to drink, was uh, straight from the bottom. All right, a bit of history. So, on the left hand side and your right hand side, we have Vodka Wyborowa, which is nearly 100 years old. Man, exactly 93 years old. On the right hand side and your left hand side, you have uh, Russian Standard, which is actually quite new, 1998. So, can we compare those two vodkas? Well, you know, in terms of heritage, history, no, maybe this was made for a commercial audience, you know, mainstream, the bottle's obviously very nice, you know, it's got premium in it, it's a Russian standard, it's all those kind of words that make people think it's better than it is. Whereas Vyborova has got an authenticity to it, you know, you say it's 100 years old, it's very hard to get a hold of especially here, but in Poland it's your run of the mill. Last time you made like a famous, you know, cocktail. What was the name of that cocktail, remind me? Perfectly balanced espresso martini. Uh, I believe it was the espresso martini. Espresso martini, and who was the guy who invented espresso martini in Soho? Um, it was a gentleman named Dick Brasso, yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> the frost, there we go. 
So Dick Russell or Richard or what have you. Yeah, very famous. That was guy. in Soho. And you know which vodka he used first for espresso martini? I don't. Are you gonna tell me it's uh... Do you think it was that one? I believe not. Of course not, it was that one actually. Wow. Yeah. How did you actually discover the Borova? Well, I won a cocktail competition to design a signature drink for the Times newspaper. And I'd invented the drink with a Russian vodka, and I didn't like that because it was not politically correct, being communist. So uh, they suggested I used a Polish vodka, and I discovered Viborova. And Viborova worked marvellously. It was really, really good. But I think now is the time to um, check the, the, the other one. The Russian standard. Russian standard. There we go. You know, apparently in Russia, there are two things you're not allowed to change. A surname and the president of Russia. We're not going to talk here about the politics. Yeah, you got no problem with Putin. But Boris Yeltsin was a big fan of vodka. Probably if you've seen any video with Boris Yeltsin during his, you know, career, mm. uh, I would say 70% of his time he was, you know, really? tipsy. First shot was very smooth. Do you think that one will be smooth as well? Well, now I'm thinking about it, and now I can see you've poured more in this one than you did the last really? one. I've already got bad feelings about it. I'm very apologised for the shots, but we have only that one. It's what, it's a 25, 20? Around a 25, no, I think that. Russian standard, round number two. Ding, ding, ding. Strovia. Ivan Drago. Ivan <laughs> Dash. <laughs> Cheers. It's different. Nah, it's a horrible aftertaste there. It's quite a sour aftertaste. It's like an artificial. Oh wow. Oh, well, it's not. It's not good. Nah, it's a major difference. But that is meant to be mixed with Coca Cola, and people don't care. It's like the nice bottle. There's no way you're enjoying that straight. I, I, have, to, I have to drink that. Yeah, one. I forgot I had it. Let's try your childhood drink. Oh, it's very sweet. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. This vodka is 38 percent. Yeah. That vodka is 40% still, yeah? This is somewhere here. What? Whoop, 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 it should be. Here we go. Yeah. It's 40%. I've heard the story. They make a 38% vodka because apparently flavor is better when it's less alcohol, but I think it's like a different thing. Is it always going to be classified as a vodka depending on the ABV? Is there uh, a certain, you know, benchmark or a level before, yes, you know? It's, yes, it's 37.5. 37.5 37 and above is, is vodka. vodka but and then below it's a gin. 38% of alcohol here, 40%. And then let's look, we have a million liters of both liquids. Yeah. Yeah. How much more money you can get making 38% vodka and making 40% of vodka? Well, you'll get more in terms of volume of if you've got a lower percentage. So absolutely, they're marketing it right. They've probably got millions of cases being sold worldwide. No matter where you go in the world, you'll find the Russian standard. In some places, it'll be very cheap. Yeah. In other places, you'll be paying 60 to 100 pounds for a bottle of that. Exactly. Easily. Exactly. Because it's exclusive, it's rare, duty in other countries. It's, there's so many variables there. So yeah, absolutely. That's what a lot of, you know, in same in whiskey as well. Low ABV means there's certain opportunities there to create more bottles, put more water in and all of that as well. But um, that's why people appreciate something with a higher ABV because it's nearer to its truer form in terms of what it comes out in the cask. And then they put water to bring the ABV down. So you put less of something, you get more, you know? Exactly. You know what, I feel like a really uh, weird aftertaste. I think, uh, you know what, I tried to get Stolichnaya. I tried to get Stolichnaya vodka, but they didn't have it. That's so what I would have That recommend. was the, my only choice in the shop. Stolichnaya is what I used to use for my espresso martinis and it actually worked quite well. But you know what, I would love to have, you know, someone from a Russian background comment on this and explain, because they'll probably be angry. They'll be like, exactly. why the hell are you using Russian standard? That's the worst thing you could use. It's shit, we don't like it in Russia. We drink, but what we're doing is we're demonstrating, you know, something that is more mainstream. Right. That's exactly, yeah. it's, it's the same. For example, you're going somewhere for holiday, yeah? You're going to Portugal and What's the, what's the famous, you know, drink in Portugal? Port, yeah? yeah? And you have like a brands, Downs, you have Sanderman, you have so many, you know, major brands. Viborova is, I will say, the most recognizable brand 
outside of Poland as the vodka. You know, we have also Belvedere, yeah? Oh, of course. But Belvedere is like, you know, for rich people. It is, yeah. It's Vyborowa, just... I would say it's like vodka for everyone. It's a it's vodka the... for people, yeah. you know, like yeah. Volkswagen. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> let's have another one. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. It's nothing there. But well, that's much more smoother. Yes. It just goes down. There is a, a bit more in terms of what you're feeling in the back. Like I'm, I'm salivating a bit more with that, but it is much smoother. It goes down and I'm not getting that unpleasantness you're getting from the Russian standard. It's funny, you know, because when I posted on my Instagram, Urban London, those two bothered them and say, oh, Russia standard is way, way better. But, you know, I've got a lot of followers from Poland and maybe Russian standard is much better in Poland than Viborova. Because it's, Cause it's cost twice more, you know, exactly. it maybe for export is different. It's a, it's, a, it's a kind of placebo effect. It's um, if you make something a higher value, people have a preconception that it is better, which is bullshit. Um, it's the same thing about whiskey. If we say it's older, yeah. it doesn't mean it's better. It just means it's more expensive. <laughs> so with regards to that, if you are in Russia, Perhaps this is something you really like to drink because it's not as easily accessible. Maybe in Poland, you like to go for the Russian standard because it's more exotic and it's not as easy to get a hold of. So it all depends on where you are and how you feel. Same people, you know, they, the people who are from England don't value England as much as they do other countries when they go on holiday. Mm -hmm. But you go on a holiday and people dream about coming to England. Of course, you yeah. Know? And it's just the same thing. And then thing. when you live in England, it's like, fucking hell, I want to go to Spain. Yeah, I want to go to Poland. Italy, whatever, <laughs> or Poland, yes. But also, you know what, like, so many people say it's like, this vodka is not Polish, yeah? You know what, because uh, well, now, it? now it's um, Viborowa brand is bought by Pernod. You know, Pernod. Pernod Ricard. Exactly. They own majority of, of all course. brands of spirits out there. Jameson, Aberlour. Uh, Mate, there's so many they own, and not even Absolute. just... Absolute. Pernod Ricard, Diageo, Bacardi, Louis Vuitton, Mo Hennessy. Exactly. These four conglomerates own the majority of every major brand. Suntory, Jim, bon Jim Bean Suntory, they own the Jim Bean. It's a Japanese uh, conglomerate yeah. that own a lot of different other brands. So Jim Beam is a Japanese brand? Of but course no, not. But is this, let me ask you, is this made in Poland? Of course, it's still made in Poland. Well, then it's Polish whiskey. It's a s w vodka. Wow, vodka. <laughs> ah, oh I my got God. you. Whiskey behind you, by the way. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, that's actually Polish whiskey. There's a Polish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's how it works. It doesn't mean it's lost its identity. It's still made in Poland. It's still a Polish vodka. And it's still a Polish flag here, come on. So it's a Polish vodka? Yeah, yeah. And the same this one, you know, this one is owned by a British company, yeah. but it's still made in Russia, in St. Petersburg. Now, we can do some blind tests, yeah? We have a middle shelf Polish vodka, but that will bring a high shelf Russian vodka. You are a high shelf Russian? Yes. Ooh. What's the high shelf Russian vodka? I don't know. Fucking... I... It's like a whale. What's it called? A beluga? No. Is it beluga? Beluga. beluga. Yeah? So here we go. Now we have 10 pounds vodka, 20 pounds vodka, and we have a 50 pounds vodka. Ooh. Beluga Transatlantic Racing. Whatever that's me. Transatlantic. That's uh, very nice. You know oh. what I loved in Beluga? It's that fish, yeah. man. It's a proper, man. Touch it, it's proper. It's awesome, what a bottle. It's proper. Oh, it's nice and cold. The Beluga, is, it's like a tuna in it, or something like that, I don't know. This is where you get caviar, I swear. You, you know, it's it. funny, when I went into Russia, like a lots of shops, you know, with jewelry, their name was like Beluga or something. So, so it's inspired by uh, the Russian yacht, yachting team, a racing right? team from yeah. Russia. That's what this bottle of whiskey, um, bottle of vodka is inspired by. Okay, so now I'm gonna make you a blind test, yeah? I'm gonna have like a two glasses. So you have to look that way. Do you see these numbers here? We have number 35 and 33. One of these will be a Polish vodka, 40%, and another one will be a Russian vodka, which is 40% as well. So now I'm really, I'm really, you know, curious if a high premium vodka can, you know, compare with Middle shelf vodka. This one was rubbish and you can taste it straight away. It's not good vodka, but we will see with this one. So. That's the one. Okay. And now it's the time for Polish one. I feel like I have two more shots of vodka. It's going to be dangerous. <laughs> okay. So. 
A this number is Polish one. A this number is a Russian one. Yeah? Here we go. All right, Mo. Okay. I've already tried the Polish, so. Try and nose it. See if I can. Nose it. Let's see if I can nose the vodka. That's a small nostril. Look. Sorry, wait. That's the number 33. And that's number 35. All right. Any difference by the nose? No, I can't get anything. I don't know if it's uh, because I'm smelling it out of a shot glass, but um, I can't tell anything different. All right. Shall I? First one, yeah. I thought I should sip it. No, that one is my shot. You can, you can sip a whiskey, not fucking vodka. That's the love That's the That's different. Okay, so taste that one. Oh, help me. That's the love you. So 35 was the second one, 33 was the first one. The better one was 35. Okay. And I think the Russian one was the first one, 33. The big reveal, so 35. 35 was the Polish one, yeah? Oh, was it? That one's the Polish one. Hey! 33 was the Russian one. Yeah? I prefer the second. So really, you prefer the Polish one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So what's the conclusion at the end? The Polish was the best, and I think it might have been the Russian standard was the worst. Hmm. So I think, guys, for you, conclusion is just drink the cold vodka. Any cold vodka is good. Yeah, and don't spend 60 pounds on a bottle of Beluga when you can have a 10 pound or 20 pound bottle of... Exactly. The finest... Finest Vyborova. Thanks, Mo. Thank you, brother. Guys, remember, like, comment and subscribe. And also, in the comments, you can suggest to us what we can drink in the next episode. Hey, man, actually, we, we haven't tried this. We need to. <laughs> um, so, just type in the comment alcohol what is actually good to drink with this. Exactly. We'll save it for the next time. And for those of you that think we didn't do well, and especially any Russians watching, Give us your best Russian vodka. Give us your best Polish vodka. Exactly. Let's put them together and see what comes out on top. See ya. Cheers.